guys, it's Sam here with Bargain Hunting Blonde, and today I am bringing to you a review of the Pullen Numero Un. And I have had this bag for almost a year, but in all my crazy having to move, getting married and everything, I really hadn't gotten to use it till about a month ago. And then I used it continuously for three weeks straight. Um, so let's get into the bag. I know that there's a lot of buzz around Pullen. Um, I think... I've been following and watching the brand for like two or three years now. Um, I had a friend who picked one up in Paris at their store and I actually was able to go on my honeymoon and that really kind of made me realize how beautiful the bag was because until you see them in person, I don't think people really understand the quality and the craftsmanship behind these bags. And I know some people haven't liked their bags they bought from Pollen, but spoiler alert, I love this bag. Um, I am eyeing and need them to restock the Numero Un Nano because it is beautiful. Um, I also like the Numero Un Mini, uh, but I can't set on colors for that one, so we're gonna halt. I think that this bag brand is great. I think it's fabulous for the price point. Um, nice fun fact is you do not pay tax shipped, uh, you just pay shipping to the US. So that is nice when, you know, you live somewhere where tax is almost 10%. So. Let's get reviewing. It, all of their bags come in these beautiful boxes. They have like this beautiful like pearlescent sheen to them. They say the type of the bag on the front and then the brand. Also, I don't know if it's Pauline or Pauline. So if someone knows, please correct me again. Not speak any French unless it's handbag French and even that I don't speak well. So their bags come in, um, they don't come in the dust bag. The dust bag comes on top, but I have used this. So I've put it in the dust bag. They come in these nice like felty dust bags. Very nice quality, uh, feel high quality. Actually feel nicer to me because they have a drawstring top than a lot of the Louis Vuitton bags do. I got my Pullen Numero Un in this beautiful tricolor caramel colors. Um, so it is three different colors. You have the overall body color, which this, as you will see, looks like there's a little mark on it, but there's in the camera, but there's not actually. Um, this is the pebbled leather on the bottom. Then you have a smooth leather for the back pocket, which you do see a little bit of wear on, and the top, and then the handle and the clasp are the same color. So this bag is a great price point, um, under $500, which for a lot of what I would consider like designer luxury bags is just not gonna happen. It is not as well known of a brand. Um, and unfortunately, to actually see it in person, you have to go to their flagship store in Paris. That's their only uh, place they're carried in store currently that I could find. Um, I'm hoping they will branch out and be in store soon. Um, but the quality on this bag is amazing. Like the pebbled leather is just to die for. It's very durable. You can see the pull-in stamping in gold right there. It does have gold feet on the bottom, it has five, which is very nice. And it does have, again, gold hardware on the back for the strap. The strap is adjustable. Um, I didn't adjust it since I got it, but you definitely could uh, change the strap and adjust the strap. Not all of the bags are three colored. Um, some of them are more of a solid colored and then like a suede top right here. Those are very beautiful. Um, what I have heard about those from people is that the handle doesn't feel um, as durable and it's kind of hard. This handle is very much leather and very nice feeling. Um, it doesn't hurt my wrist when I carry it top uh, carry or on the wrist, the crook of the arm sort of thing. Uh, let's get into the interior of this bag. So you do, I, I'm keeping the blue on as long as possible. My husband's like, are you gonna take that off? I was like, no, I'm not. Even though I know I should because I'll scratch the hardware, but then like I can't. So we're in this like tug of war right now where I've not taken it off yet. I have the bag, I do have the bag stuffed and I do keep most of my bag stuffed. So you will see the interior is a brown canvas with one zippered pocket. Um, the bag does expand to be bigger, you pull these little snap closures, which I'll show you in a second. So when you do that, it's much easier to get into the bag. So you'll see right there, the depth of the bag. Very nice. Um, I actually don't ever really open these. Um, I find that I can get in and out everything I need with the closures snapped. I do wanna show you though the nice detailing on these rivets, it does say pull in which I think is really nice. And just kind of something a high-end fashion house like Saint Laurent does or Louis Vuitton. I really like that. The bag is just kind of giant open space. So, so that is something to consider. Um, that doesn't bother me. I actually prefer 
open space, but some people really like organization in their bags. And since this bag only has one zippered pocket, you're just not really gonna get that. Overall, this bag has a billion pluses to me and I'll kind of start quickly because I've showed you a lot of them. Uh, number one would be, I absolutely love, sorry, I'm trying to get it closed again, which can be a little difficult with my refusing to take off the magnet covers, but it's fine. Um, number one is I love that this bag has feet. It doesn't scare me to set it down. Number two, I love that this bag is pebbled leather. I think pebbled leather is really, really durable. And as you can see, it has an adjustable crossbody strap, or you can wear it as a shoulder strap, which is great. And it has a top handle. Those, that is number two for me. Those are things I love that a bag that is really able to be worn tons of different ways. Number three is the price point. I think the price point is amazing, especially for the quality of bag. I think that, you know, there are a lot of new bag brands on the scene, which I like, but are can be a little bit higher of a price point. And this is just really reasonable. Reminds me more of a Coach, Dooney & Burke price point. And number three is I, as you all know, love, love, love back pockets. This back pocket does in fact fit a phone. This is my 11 Pro. And as you guys will see, it does stick out. It's not like completely covered, but if you're just trying to grab and go, just slip it back there and you can easily get it out. I wouldn't leave it there like if you're traveling like a big city, but I live in the suburbs. So if it's there, it's honestly fine. And then lastly, I love the big center, one center pocket. That's totally works for me. Um, it fits a full size wallet, which is nice because a lot of bags really don't. And this bag isn't actually that big. So when I put it on crossbody or on my shoulder, I don't feel like, oh my gosh, I have this huge bag on me. It's just like a normal sized bag. There are though some things that I don't love about this bag, um, but aren't deal breakers for me. Number one, um, I did only wear this continually for three weeks. I'm very careful with my bag and this sort of wear just happened. Um, you can see, you can actually see it very well in person, but you can see it much better on the camera. This like wear right here from the stitching. Um, and I don't actually put my phone back here that much, but that may, might be what have caused it. Number two, I don't love how this bag closes because it is kind of difficult to get it to close. Granted, I do still have the blue on here, which is probably getting in its way slightly, but I also feel like it can be really hard for me to get it closed, especially if I'm trying to do it like one handed on the go. Um, because this is just so small, I kind of wish that it was more of a latch instead of a magnet, but those are really the only two things that bother me about this bag. Oh, besides, you know, I can't have many, many more of them, which also bothers me, but I don't need more than one of this style. So this is actually my third pull-in bag. Um, I have the number six, uh, which is a very small handheld bag. And then I also have the wicker bag. Um, and I've loved all three. And like I said, I am eyeing hardcore the nano version of this bag. I think for the price point, it's great. I think it is, for me, I'd rather buy this uh, than a Coach bag, which I know Coach is definitely having a moment, or a Dooney & Burke bag. I'd rather have this. I love carrying this. I own from Hermes, you know, all the way through bags that are, you know, come from just different smaller fashion houses. Um, and I love this bag. I would highly recommend, I think, again, great price point, great quality, great bag. Um, again, I don't know how the suede holds up because none of my bags have suede on them. They've all had leather or wicker. So maybe I've seen some people have some wear on the suede, especially if you get a lighter suede, but leather, amazing. Totally love their, um, if you go to the boutique in Paris, they have all the colors. You can try on all the bags. Um, they're really nice. They're really friendly. It is kind of a little out of the way. Um, but worth it if you want to go and look at the bag and actually see it in person. Um, or, you know, you can just go see if one of your friends has one and steal it from them. Uh, but yeah, highly recommend. Cannot wait to get more bags from them. Price point's great. This video is not at all sponsored. I definitely pay for this with my own money. I am not big enough to get anything sent to me for free. So, and even if I was, I would tell you the honest truth. And this is the honest truth of how much I love this bag. Uh, we'll not be getting rid of it. We'll not be selling it. We'll definitely be keeping it. Um, I know you guys don't see this a lot on my Instagram, but it's because I use it for like every day and I don't take pictures every day. Just like I don't film every day. I'm rarely, if ever, in the United States actually. <laughs> so when I'm home, I use this bag. Uh, I do not travel with it as it is bigger. Um, I have a tendency to travel with just a work tote and then a really small bag. So thank you guys for tuning in to this review. 
Um, if you want to see reviews of any of my other bags, please let me know down below in the comment box. If you want to see my new video, which I upload every week, please make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video. If you want to see how I style my bags, please make sure to follow me on Instagram, which I have linked down below. Thank you so much for tuning in today, guys, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.